So this bike is currently in a state of shambles. Uh, yeah. So welcome to another video. This is a how-to on changing the fork oil in your KDM 500. The two tools that you will need to complete this task are these, the 50mm uh, fork cap spanner, 50mm, and a 24mm spanner. You remove the front wheel, you remove the brake calipers, you're ready to remove the fork legs, and then you, before you take it out of the triple tree, you need to loosen the top cap now that I've got some room here, you're loosening this off, you loosen the top clamp off. These two co top clamp bolts get loosened so that it's not pinching in on the thread. Leave the bottom ones tight, loosen the top one. You just want to crack that thread loose. Don't have to take it off, just make it loose. And that's better than trying to mount this in a vise and mangle it and whatever to try and loosen this. You've got a nice vise right here. Once you have the fork leg out, you can uh, remove that top cap. And slide that tube down and then with your 24mm spanner. There's a couple of ways to do this. You might be able to pull the whole spring down if it's a big spanner, but if it's a thin spanner, it might fit in between the uh, spring. So hold that on there. That one on the top. And undo. Once you've loosened it, that will just spin off. Like so. You take your spring out. Sit that aside to drain. Now I pull out this aluminium rod. And then simply up, upend it into a suitable container. And then you can work this piston up and down a bit just to don't get any oil out. Alternatively, you can just leave it. So I might just do that. I'll uh, I'll sit this in there and let that drain and I will I will come back shortly. While that's draining, um, there's, a, there's a couple of ways that you can refill. One is to the air gap, which is probably a really accurate way, or the other is to uh, use mills. Now I'm using milliliters, so 600 milliliters fork oil per leg according to the uh, manual for this particular one. Um, you'll see the the six day version has slightly more, 610, but this one has 600 so that's what I'm going to be using. So the other thing too obviously when you buy your fork oil which comes in usually in one liter bottles uh, make sure you get two of them. So I'm using uh, Motul 5 weight fork oil, which is what's in it, what it comes standard with. So I will put 600 mil into a suitable container. Now I did check this on the first leg that I did. I poured in the old oil into this to see how much came out and there were 600 
mils exactly that was in it. So I'm happy with 600. And so once it's drained for a while, you should find that piston should go up and down pretty easily. Now there was a bit more in it. So maybe just do that a few more times to make sure we've got. Once the oil's drained out, uh, you, you can see, you put your finger at the top of that little tube, because you don't want oil down there apparently. Take your oil, pour it in. And then just Move this up and down a bit just to try and get the oil to settle. This is all far more important if you're doing the air gap method. And once that's all done, put the aluminium tube back in. And put the spring back on over the spring guide. Now, the first one that I did, I found that that spring guide kept slipping down as I was putting the tube on. So it was a bit of a pain to get it, get the spring on, but this one's okay, it's holding it itself okay. And now I'm going to hold this, pull this spring down, slip my 24 spanner on the top. And then the fork cap, spin on, until it stops, you'll feel it tighten, and then you're tightening the fork cap onto that other bolt, other nut, not very tight. Slip the spanner out and you're pretty much done. And you slide that tube up, screw that back in and snug that down and I'll tighten it when it's back on the bike. Give everything a clean up. I just use a part spray. Keep all the oil off your fork tubes so that they don't end up all over your triple clamps and you are good to go. When you're reinstalling the bottom triple clamp are 15 newton meters, top are 20 and you probably find that you just have to do a bit, do that one, do this one again do this one again as you tighten one up the other one gets a bit looser so once they're both done it's all good repeat that on all the other clamps and you are done thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it uh, we'll see you in the next one